everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash item command. Now this is formerly known as the replace item command, and I've done a video of this in the past, but basically that is for past versions below 1.17. Now please keep in mind that this video I'm going to show you will only work on Java Edition. I do have a replace item bedrock video coming out, so just keep that in mind that none of this will work for bedrock, but it will only work for Java Edition. So with that said, let's get straight into the tutorial. So first of all, I'm going to type in slash and then I'm going to do item. Now you're basically given with two things. You're given with modifier and you're also given with replace. So basically replace will replace an item. So this is like the replace item and item modifier will basically modify the item currently in the inventory. So, so I'm going to do item replace and then you're given with two other features. So these mean that uh, well, what's going to be replaced. So you can either replace a, uh, a block items so like a chest, uh, end chest, etc. those sort of things with this or Entity, you can replace any inven uh, entity inventory slot. So for now, let's do entity and I'm going to do myself. But if you want to do, you know, everyone or yourself, yeah, all of these, I've talked about them before, you can select them. So this is all players, all entities, nearest person, random player, and yourself. Now, here's the bit that gets a bit interesting. So these are all the slots that you can, you know, fill and, or replace an item with. So these are your main uh, body components of a player. So let's say if I did head and I did uh, with, oops, do with, and then I do glass and I hit enter, you'll see that I get glass on my head. Actually, that's probably better. So you can see I've got an astronaut kind of looking thing. It looks really cool. It's basically a glass block. Now you notice that in this command, some parts may not be available. So for example, I can't actually place glass on my feet. Uh, that's mainly for, you know, armor components, uh, but everything else works. So you can see uh, that's that. Now from in this command is basically from entity to another thing. So if I did entity under my cap, uh, head that, you'll see that it will replace the slot from uh, that player to my player, which doesn't work right now, but if I had two other people, it would replace whatever's on under my caps head to that player, if that kind of makes sense. Now let's say you wanted to replace a item in a chest or a container. Well, let's get into that. First of all, you want to make sure that your character is looking at the item you want to replace. And we're going to simply go item, place, and then we're going to do block this time. And then you'll see that it actually starts autofilling stuff. And that's because I'm looking at the block that I want to autofill. So please note that you have to have your crosshair pointing at the block. Now, once you do this, you'll see the same menu pops up and this is where you have to get this correct. This container is basically referring to the chest slot. So chest slot zero is technically slot one that you see when you open a chest. Uh, chest slot one is also two. So you'll see this. So if let's say I want to replace uh, container slot zero, which is technically one, uh, with, and then let's say just ache your boat because that's the thing there. If I hit enter, you'll see that slot one has been replaced with a key boat. And I'll, I'll show you, this is random. So you see it's open. If I, let's say, want to change uh, slots, let's say um, slot 17. I don't know what slot that is, but you'll see that it's also replaced slot 17 with a boat. Now this command is also useful as you're able to replace items from entities inventory, such as, you know, zombies uh, with their swords and those sorts of things. So I'll show you that right now. So if we go into the command and go slash item, replace entity and we're going to do uh let's say at e because it's a zombie and we'll do type equals zombie and we're going to change their uh actually you know what let's do the head because that's kind of cool you know the glass block and we'll do with glass so technically all the zombies in the world right now if i have allowed them to spawn yep you'll see that all the zombies will have glass on. So it kind of looks like a space helmet, which is really cool. Uh, same goes for other mobs. You know, I can do uh, creeper. Oh, okay. Maybe creepers don't. I'm discovering things as well in this video. So apparently it only works with entities that hold things or, you know, other things. So creepers don't typically wear armor. So you technically can't replace their armor slots if they don't have any armor slots mapped whereas zombies do. And that's about it. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This video was really fun to make and I'm glad that I'm back. I've been really busy with a whole bunch of school stuff. So I'm glad I was able to make this video. I'm going to also make a bedrock video for this. So if you are a bedrock player, don't you worry. I've got a bedrock version coming out for you. <laughs> yeah, you can see the zombie in the background over there. 
Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya.